टॉपिक इज एब्जोल्यूट जीरो बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दी एब्जोल्यूट जीरो वी विल नो अबाउट दी चार्ज ला बिकॉज फ्रॉम चार्ज ला वी विल डिराइव दी एब्जोल्यूट जीरो चार्ज ला द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए फिक्स मास ऑफ ए गैस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू दी एब्जोल्यूट टेम्परेचर एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर If we take the pressure as constant, we will know that the volume is directly related to the absolute temperature, and that is the Charles law. Mathematically, it is equal to volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant P pressure and the fixed mass of a gas. Now replace the sign of proportionality with some constant K. V is equal to K T, and we will get K is equal to V over T. Now we will consider the graphical representation of Charles law. If a graph is plotted between various temperature and the respective volume of a fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure, a straight line is obtained. It indicates that volume is directly related or directly proportional to the absolute temperature. If we plot a graph between volume and temperature, we will get a straight line. So it indicates that these both are directly proportional to each other now comes towards absolute zero absolute zero is the lowest possible temperature and the coolest possible temperature at this temperature the motion of the gas molecule stops and the volume of the gas is zero so we will prove it that the why the motion of the molecule stop or the volume of the gas is zero at absolute temperature in 1787 jacques charles and joseph gallus independently discovered the quantitative relationship between volume and temperature they proved that all gases expand to the same extent when heated through the same temperature they say that the volume of the fixed mass of a gas changes or increases by 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c for each degree rise celsius in temperature so the new volume at t degree c it is equal to the original volume at 0 degree c plus 1 by 273 of the original volume so the rise or the change in the or increase in the volume it is equal to 1 by 273 of the original volume at that temperature the same uh, similarity observed for when the gas is cooled so the volume of the fixed mass of a gas changes or decreases by 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c for each degree celsius fall in temperature so here the fall in temperature so it will decrease the volume and that decrease in the volume will be 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c so the new volume at minus t degree c it is equal to original volume at 0 degree c minus that is decrease minus here show the decrease minus 1 by 273 of the original volume at that temperature so these are the two cases which we will prove in the coming few slides suppose we will have temperature 0 degree c and the volume of the gas is taken as 273 cm cube these are the supposed calculations increase the temperature up to 1 degree c the new volume at 1 degree c it is equal to the original volume at 0 degree c plus 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c multiplied by temperature so here we we are changing the temperature up to 1 degree c so we will put here as 1 now solving it so these two terms will cancel out because the original volume we will take it as 273 so 273 and 1 by 273 is in formula so these two will cancel out so we will get 273 plus 1 and the answer is 274 cm cube so the new volume at 1 degree c it is equal to 274 cm cube now increase in the temperature up to 100 degree c the new volume will be 373 cm cube the remaining formula is same so we will put here as uh, put uh, here 100 in place of 1 in the previous example so we will get 373 cm cube changing the temperature up to 273 degree c 
so putting 273 over here in place of temperature and we will get the 546 cm cube now from this calculation we find out that increase in the temperature will cause increase in the volume that is the proof of charles law 274 at 1 degree c 373 at 100 degree c and 546 at 273 degree c so there is increase in the volume when we are increasing the temperature now we will decrease the temperature so the suppose uh, uh, calculations are 0 degree c temperature at this temperature the volume is 273 cm cube now below the 0 degree c that is 1 minus 1 degree c so the new volume at minus 1 degree c it is equal to the original volume at 0 degree c minus 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c multiply by 1 so solving it we will get 272 cm cube now changing the temperature up to minus 100 degree c so all the formula is same except this temperature here we will put 100 degree c and we will get the new volume at 100 degree c as 173 cm cube now decrease the temperature up to minus 273 degree c the new volume at minus 273 degree c it is equal to the original volume at 0 degree c minus 1 by 273 of the original volume at 0 degree c multiply by 273 that is the temperature change so we will get in this case so this and this will cancel out 273 and 273 will cancel out so here 273 minus 273 that will result in 0 cm cube so we know that at 2 minus 273 degree c the volume of the gas become zero which is practically not possible the data which we obtain from the previous calculation that is 1 degree c rise in temperature 100 degree c rise in temperature and 273 degree c rise in temperature it will produce a new volume of the gas that is 274 cm cube 374 cm 373 cm cube and 546 cm cube while for the fall of temperature at minus 1 degree c minus 100 degree c and minus 273 degree c we will get a volume 272 cm cube 173 cm cube and 0 cm cube now a graph is plotted between temperature and volume and we get a straight line so this is the straight line which we get from the graph that is plotted between the volume and temperature so if we consider this here is the rise in temperature from 100 and 273 so that will create a rise in volume so it the graph will move upward and if we consider the fall of temperature that will create a fall of volume so it will move towards the x axis when extrapolated the graph towards x axis so we are extrapolating it the line cuts the temperature at Minus 273.15 cm cube degree C, which is the lowest possible temperature. This line breaks before reaching the temperature uh, of a gas to minus 273 degree C. It means that at this temperature, all the gases have zero volume or not in the gaseous state. So this uh, temperature is not reached be before reaching the gas to this temperature. it will cool down and it will be converted to the liquid state so it will have zero volume the gas will have zero volume which is not possible for gases so this mean that the gas does not exist actually the gases are converted to the liquid state at this temperature and therefore the gas laws cannot be applied on them so the charles law cannot be applied at this area Minus 273 degree C. It is equal to zero Kelvin. If we consider it in Kelvin scale, then it is equal to zero Kelvin. The Kelvin temperature scale is the scale that starts at minus 273.15 degree C. So minus 273.15 degree C. It is equal to zero Kelvin if we consider the Kelvin scale. 
that temperature is the lowest possible temperature the temperature 273.15 degree c is referred to as absolute zero and is given the given the value of a zero in a kelvin scale so it is zero kelvin and then this is known as absolute zero